Morning, everyone. My name is Corey, and I oversee creative strategy for retail brands here at Snap, which is just a fancy way of saying my team and I partner with advertisers to come up with creative ways to make their brands pop for Snapchatters. I'm here today with Michelle Hernandez from Decker's Brands. Welcome, Michelle. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role? Hey, Corey. It's so great to be here with you. Um, so my role at Decker's Brands is to develop omni-channel digital marketing strategies for our Ugg and Culebra brands. And for anyone not familiar, Ugg and Culebra are footwear brands, but Ugg has also been expanding apparel products, uh, which is very exciting. Um, so my role involves managing all of our paid media. And as part of that, I manage the Snapchat relationship and drive strategy on the platform. Thanks for that. Can you tell me a little bit more about the overall brand strategy? Sure. So our overall strategy is really less about marketing a product and more about showcasing a lifestyle that is attainable and resonates with our audience. Um, UGG is known for its quality materials and the way our product makes you feel. So we always try to drive that messaging in all of our marketing efforts. Um, and for the past several years, we've really been working to position UGG as a California lifestyle brand made for you know, those who are bold and fashion forward, um, you know, we work to bring this to life across all of our marketing platforms, including digital. Um, of course, we want to be where our customers are, and that is on mobile. So mobile is definitely a key part of our strategy and a really big driver of growth for us. Love to hear that. I know I definitely have a vision of the UGG lifestyle, and it's the exact kind of California, easy, breezy lifestyle I know I want to live. Can I assume that with mobile being a major part of your digital strategy, social is as well? Yes, that's exactly right. Um, social media and especially paid social is really an integral part of our strategy, um, especially with younger customers that we're trying to reach. You know, the place to do that is really with social. And because consumers are on social all the time, so are we. Um, we feel it's crucial to have an always on approach to marketing and you know, we may not be marketing the same products throughout the year, but like I mentioned, you know, we are really trying to market a lifestyle and for that message to resonate with consumers, we need to advertise throughout the year. That makes a ton of sense. Well, I'd be remiss to not ask you how your strategy comes to life on Snapchat. Yeah. So like I mentioned, you know, we take an always on approach to social and that thinking certainly applies to Snapchat. Um, but more specifically, I'd say that Snapchat stands out for us in two ways. Um, you know, the first is that Snap helps us reach a younger, highly savvy consumer. And second, you know, we work with Snapchat to partner on innovation, specifically as it relates to AR. Can you tell me a little bit more about that, specifically the innovation piece? How have you tapped into our AI offering? I'd love to talk a little bit more about your holiday campaign last year, more specifically, since it was so cool. And because this is, in fact, a holiday event. Of course. Um, so the holiday campaign was supplemental to the always on strategy that I just mentioned, but it was almost an always on within an always on activation because we wanted to offer customers a holiday experience from the moment that they started seeking holiday inspiration. So whether they were creating a holiday wish list for themselves or shopping for gifts, um, we really wanted to bring that experience to them early in the season. Um, and from an innovation standpoint, we built a portal lens. Um, holistically, we made sure that the campaign was full funnel. You know, we had snap ads and AR to support upper funnel objectives, but then we also ran collection ads and dynamic product ads to support lower funnel initiatives. Um, but starting early really gave us a nice runway for people to not only discover and shop, but also to start sharing the lens with their family and friends early in the season, which ultimately helped us drive um, more earned reach. I love to hear that, especially that the multi-product strategy worked for you from a full funnel perspective. And also because you started early in the shopping season, because we know that's what Snapchatters are doing too. You definitely want your brand to be discoverable in those critical moments ahead of the game. Can you tell me a little bit more about the experience itself? Yeah, the the timing worked out really well um, as we were actually getting ready to open our revamped New York City flagship store. So we decided to replicate that experience with a portal lens. Um, it was in a lot of ways a no brainer, you know, not only are customers shopping increasingly on mobile, but also it was during the pandemic. So we knew that we could be missing out on customer touch points and in-store sales. 
Um, you know, we wanted to drive engagement with our customers, make them feel like they were in an actual store. But of course, just beyond that brand engagement, we also wanted to drive sales, of course. Um, so we made the store shoppable. Um, customers could try on shoes before purchasing, and they could also view and interact with several of our clothing items and ultimately click to purchase. I love to see it. And I really love that shirling jacket. Can I get a good guy discount? <laughs> yeah, we got you covered. <laughs> uh, this is really cool. So how did the campaign turn out? Were you happy with the results? Yes, we were really happy. We actually ran a brand list study with the campaign and saw great results, um, including a 15 point lift in brand awareness and a nine point lift in action intent. So that was great from an upper funnel standpoint, but we also had strong ROAS, which is um, also very important to us. Great. I'm glad the campaign resonated with Snapchatters and helped to reach your goals. Before we go, what would you say were the key takeaways from last year's holiday campaign? And that, how is that a, impacting your 2021 strategy? Sure. So, you know, we're certainly continuing to lean into Snap and we are investing more with AR, but still maintaining our always on strategy, which has really worked well for us. Um, we actually just ran a lens with Little Nas X for our Pride campaign, um, where people could watch a video with some of our most colorful products featured in our Pride capsule collection um, with a very colorful celebratory Pride prom environment. Um, and then they could take a snap pic to share. So um, it was really great, drove a lot of wonderful engagement for us. And you know, consumers could also click to learn more about a variety of our Pride Pride products. Um, so that was very exciting. Um, but beyond that, you know, we're really thinking about our plans already for this holiday season, which is crazy to me um, that we're already in planning mode. Um, but we are and I won't spoil the surprise. But I will say that we are planning to start early again. And we're hoping to implement some of the try on technology for apparel in addition to shoes. So stay tuned. I definitely will. I have to say I worked lightly on the Lil Nas X campaign uh, and we were really happy with how the portal was looking so glad to hear that it was successful um, and we can't wait to get started on holiday planning in partnership with UGG. It's been really great chatting with you today. Uh, we love what UGG is doing across the board and of course we're partial to the work that you're doing with us here at SNAP. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks so much Corey. It was great speaking with you.